The latest drama in NASCAR is here. In an interview, rising sensation Haley Deegan criticizes Tony Stewart for his controversial money versus skill comments. What did she say that everyone's talking about? Did she brutally bash him or does it all just boil down to healthy competition? Join us as we dive into this explosive battle of perspectives and uncover the amazing behind the scenes action in the world of racing. And hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single update. Let's get ready to rumble. Not everyone is meant to be great, and not everyone has what it takes to become a legend in their area. But in the long run, people get to the top because they have faith and work hard. The same is true for cars in the Cup Series. Even though there are 36 drivers racing against each other, only a few will get into the Hall of Fame because of how well they did. When it comes to hiring drivers for the top level of American racing, talent, knowledge of the sport, and a healthy amount of aggression have always been the most important things. But sometimes, the long-held ideas of NASCAR have to take a back seat, because other things are more important. You wouldn't believe how long the list of NASCAR drivers is, who owe their entry into the sport to family connections. It's like a never-ending chain of racing legacies, you know? And what's surprising is there's not much talk about this whole nepotism thing, despite so many drivers making it big just because of their family ties or resources. We mean, we get it. Some teams and drivers are totally cool with it because it makes things easier for them. They've got the support and backing right from the start, and that can be a huge advantage in such a competitive field. But let's not forget that NASCAR still attracts some serious talent. Not everyone who tries their luck ends up becoming a legend in the NASCAR Hall of Fame. It takes more than just connections to make it big in this sport, that's for sure. But did you catch the interview with Haley Deegan, the Truck Series driver? She shed some light on the whole nepotism thing in NASCAR and also talked about how female drivers can get more exposure in the sport. It's definitely an interesting perspective and worth checking out. Deegan said, So I was able to bring on a lot of sponsors, and he's had a lot of great relationships. I was able to get sponsors like Ford and Monster because I had already worked with them and built up a connection with them. So my dad has helped me a lot as I've moved up the ranks. But I think you just need the money side of it, whether it's from sponsors or your own money. I think at this point in racing, you just have to kind of accept the family money side of it, because 90% of those kids out there are being paid for by their families, even in Xfinity. So you just have to accept it. Everyone says, oh, they don't deserve that ride, or they don't deserve to be there. But you say, well, they deserve it because they're paying for it. So what did you think would happen? So I think you just need the money, whether it comes from your family or from donors. Despite being fortunate enough to have a resourceful father who supported her racing career, Deegan has shown remarkable determination and skill in finding alternative ways to gain funding and financial support. She didn't let the lack of family backing be a roadblock in her journey. Instead, she took matters into her own hands and worked hard to attract sponsors and build relationships within the racing community. Through her talent, dedication, and networking abilities, she has managed to secure the funding required for her racing endeavors. Her success serves as a shining example for other female drivers who might face similar financial challenges. It demonstrates that with perseverance, skill, and strategic planning, it is possible to overcome the hurdles of financial constraints and carve a path to success in NASCAR, even without the same level of family support that Deegan enjoyed. Deegan says, I think the best way is to sell yourself on social media. At least, that's how I've done it, because I want to race without the backers I have. Like, I don't have that family money paper racing, so I would say that the best way for a woman to be in the race world is to get paid for your social media. In the world of racing cars, it's easier for a woman to build up her social media, so I think that is what you can use to keep getting into racing and selling yourself to bring partners with you. I can tell you, though, that you need a lot of money from your family to start racing. What are your thoughts on Deegan's backlashing comments? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button for more updates. Tony Stewart, on the other hand, seems to show that he still cares more about these ideas than anything else when it comes to where he puts talented drivers. He's sure that nothing, not even partnerships worth millions of dollars, can make him give up on these ideas. Tony Stewart says why Josh Berry is the best person to replace Kevin Harvick. If anyone had taken the time to look at the Stewart Haas Racing Garage earlier this year, they would have seen how tense it was after Kevin Harvick's exit was announced. Even though Josh Berry might be the right person to take his place behind the wheel of the number 4 Ford. But now that Harvick is leaving, his main backer, Anheuser-Busch, is also going to leave the SHR team. Even though there were drivers from lower levels of NASCAR who could have replaced Harvick and brought big sponsors with them, Stewart decided to support Barry, even though he doesn't have any big names backing him up. Stewart cares more about Barry's ability than about million-dollar deals. 
The veteran told MRN host Mike Bagley about this on the most recent show of NASCAR Live. When asked about how the drivers think about racing, the co-owner of Stuart Haas Racing said, We want guys who know what it takes. We want people who had to sit there and work on their race cars, who had to fight to do what they do, and who worked hard, instead of people who had their way paid for, or those who had help along the way. Stewart made it clear what was most important to him by saying, But there's something about a driver who has had to dig through ditches, climb the mountain on their own, and not have someone grab them by the collar and pull them the rest of the way up. Our program has a lot of good points, and that's what makes it what it is. As the conversation went on, Tony Stewart gave hints about how he feels about drivers who were born into wealth. He said, The people in that building are people who race. People who have spent their whole lives around racing. People with college degrees aren't the only ones who have said, Hey, I want to work on a NASCAR team. That won't get you into our building. It doesn't make sense. It depends on what you have done before. It's based on what you've done in the sport in your life. When you put these kinds of people together, good things happen. Tony Stewart's comment about ability versus money a few days ago has likely sparked some speculation among fans. Many people think it could be a subtle jab at Joe Gibbs and Richard Childress, whose grandkids drive in the Cup Series because it was written in that way. Both drivers have shown their worth on the tracks, but they still have a long way to go before they can stand next to Kyle Busch, Danny Hamlin, and Martin Truex Jr., who are also on their team. Still, Stewart is worried about getting Josh Berry a marketing deal to make sure he stays with the team. Josh Berry will soon show how good he is as a Cup Series driver. He's well known and has years of experience in other types of stock car racing. Even though it would be too much to expect him to win right away, he does have what it takes to win a title. Tony Stewart's unwavering commitment to talent and merit over financial backing showcases his dedication to upholding the true essence of NASCAR. He values hardworking drivers with a genuine passion for racing, regardless of their financial resources. On the other hand, Haley Deegan's success, even without significant family support, serves as an inspiration for aspiring female drivers facing similar challenges. She highlights the importance of determination and networking in securing funding and pursuing dreams. Together, their perspectives shed light on the complexities of racing, where talent, dedication, and opportunity intersect to shape the future of NASCAR. These are some pretty big truth bombs that racers may not have told this openly before. Even though it's common for NASCAR drivers to get into the sport through family ties and then prove themselves later, this makes NASCAR seem hard to get into for people who aren't from the sport. So that's all we've got for today. We hope you enjoyed it. Tell us what you think of the video in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you in the upcoming video.